here in the village of Vivlos on the island of Naxos in Greece, the biggest of the Cycladic Islands. Here's one I've managed to put together so far. It's not very typical. I wouldn't call it a diagnostic Lavalois core. But it's still pretty early stages. You can see there's a lot of thick quartzy cortex on there. That proved pretty problematic. shaped but as opposed to the later conical blade cores I won't be taking blades off the face these faces but rather the top or what's usually the platform took this one flake off nice dihedral platform on it It went a bit more to the left than I wanted, so we got some of this cortex on the left edge. But it kind of gives it a nice natural backing on it. You can hold it like that, use it. Pretty nice material. The Stolita shirt is pretty, pretty problematic for the most part. It's got a lot of quartz inclusions and fracture lines running through it. This, this is a solidified conglomerate of some kind. Lots of different shades of blue and gray in there. Pretty high quality stuff. Most deleted shirt is on the whiter side of things. Some browns. But it's a lot harder to work than this stuff. This stuff's somewhat predictable. It's fracturing mechanics. Here's my little napping corner. This is more typically what Stolita shirt looks like. Very white, got a lot of fractures running through it. It all develops this thick, browny, orange kind of cortex. There's a lot of variability in the color of the actual shirt. looking patterns. It's mostly a pervasively silicified sandstone. As you can see here, most of it's very sandy with some pockets of that nicer bluish colored shirt in there. Most of it's very unpredictable. But this bluer stuff is probably the best quality material around. You can see a lot of it gets these thick bands of quartz running through it. Very troublesome to work. Sure tests your abilities as a flint napper.